let's use Dean's blocks to model an addition in base 5. So the first thing we're going to do is select all the blocks and reduce the base down to 5, and then build these two numbers here. So I've got 2, 3, 2. So that's two groups of 5 fives, rather than your normal hundreds. Three groups of 5, rather than your normal tens, and then two units. And they're never going to change, no matter what base you're using. Then underneath, I'm going to build my 2, 4, 4. So that's going to be two groups of 5, 5. Four groups of 5. And then finally, four units. Now, the method of addition works exactly the same as base 10 here, but with the key difference is that we're grouping in 5s rather than 10s. So normally in base 10, I wouldn't group these up because that's just six units. But in base 5, we have to group that up to make a group of 5 with one unit left over and carry the 5 forwards. Then again here, now you can see I can make a whole group here of 5 5s. So I'm going to group those up and move those to the next column, leaving with just three 5s in the 5s column. And then finally here, now I've got five groups of five fives, so I can select all them together, and they get grouped together to make the next highest power as well. So I've got one unit here, three groups of five here, zero groups of five fives, and then one group of five lots of five fives. Now what does the numeral look like for that? Well, I've got one group of five lots of five fives, zero groups of five fives, three groups of five, and then finally one unit. So 232 plus 244 in base 5 is equal to 1032.